Good evening, everybody, and hello. It's Roy Romano in Saskatchewan. I'm sorry that I can't be with you on this important occasion, but other commitments prevent me from being with you. 30 years of the Canadian Healthcare Coalition. What a wonderful accomplishment of men and women from all parts of Canada coming together to support, defend, and improve something which is very unique and special, universal health care, Medicare for Canadians. I think about how lucky we are in Canada every time that I see a news report from the United States of America and that debate that's going on, and the misrepresentations, by the way, which is another story of our wonderful, wonderful program here. Tommy Douglas and those visionaries who implemented Medicare in Saskatchewan, and then Mike Pearson and others who fought for it and implemented it in Canada, truly did a wonderful thing for Canadians, not only in their individual health, but for helping us to be defined as Canadians, to helping a definition of what Canada is all about and expressing our Canadian values. 30 years ago, in 1979, Medicare was under attack, even though it had just been implemented. The attack was that doctors, some doctors, were implementing user fees, charging over and above the public system. Some hospitals were extra billing, charging over and above, and there was no legislation to protect it. And so the citizens arose. This is the power and the strength of the Canadian Healthcare Coalition. And led by Emmett Hall and Tommy Douglas and others, they took their battle to the public and to the House of Commons. And in 1984, 25 years ago, the Canada Health Act, the Canada Health Act, our beacon, our statutory protection for the principles of universal health care was enacted to eliminate these transgressions that I've talked about, demonstrating the power of citizens who really believe in protecting this program which reflects our values. So 30 years ago, the Canadian Healthcare Coalition played a vitally important role in developing 25 years ago our defining legislation, the Canadian Health Care Act, the CHA, the Canada Health Act. What a wonderful accomplishment to all of you and to all of those before you. And friends, my message to you as I come to a close this evening is to say, keep your guard up. Those who doubt the importance of Medicare, or let's be blunt about it, oppose it, will never give up. And it seems that every so often, Canadians are back again at the trenches, fighting for the values and the principles of universal health care. We're seeing the battle in the United States. We know how tough it can get. It persists in many parts of our country. And the Canadian Health Care Coalition remains vigilant, and I commend you for it, and I urge you to do so in the future. I fear, for example, that the federal government will cut back on its transfer payments to the provinces, perhaps sometimes after the next election, maybe earlier, because of its deficit, and we'll have a repetition of what we had in 1995 when the CHST cut back billions of dollars from the provinces. I lived through that. I know all about it because I was premier in Saskatchewan struggling with that. And when you're cut back in the public system, the voices for private care, they come out and arise. The new way, this is the way to fix the problem. We all know, of course, that it is not the way to proceed. And so I hope I'm wrong, but I think we should be vigilant for this and for other dimensions of this debate which is around North America and in Canada ever present. So fellow supporters of Medicare, members of the Canadian Healthcare Coalition, I salute you for 30 years of a job well done in protecting universal Medicare, this great program, and in doing so in helping to define and to shape what it means to be a Canadian, to reflect our true values of caring and sharing. Job well done. And Keep the guard up and continue the task in the years ahead. Thanks for allowing me these few moments to you, to speak to you, and to wish all of you the very, very best. Good night and good luck.